Hey YouTube, I wanted to quickly do a video on my Vagrant files that I've been using recently. So Dropbox has done a update recently that removed access to the public folders. Now the public folders is where I used to keep all of my images. And if you've watched some of my previous videos, we learned how to create these images. So the images are stored in my public folder so that anybody can actually make use of them. When I share the images out, people can just download them from the internet. That way I don't need to give them the Vagrant file with the, the image for the machine at the same time. It makes it very easy to actually share. But without the public folder, a lot of things have actually broken. So I did some investigation. I figured out how to fix it. Now I just wanted to share that with you. So this will be a very quick video on how to do that. So if we take a look at um, line two on this, on this text editor, you can see this the link that we get from Dropbox now and it's quite a nasty one and it actually doesn't work when we use it in Vagrant directly because what it does is it actually takes you to a separate page to download the file. Now we can convert them luckily into links that will give us a direct download link. So um, the first thing we've got to do is right click on your file inside of Dropbox somewhere and go to the little icon the text that says get dropbox link or you can do that from within the web page for dropbox itself and you'll get something that looks like what's highlighted currently so after that um line number five which is the one that's highlighted now we just need to convert it the main thing that we need to do really is put this dl.dropboxusercontact.com s forward slash into it and then the characters that get allocated to us and then our actual file name and that'll give us a a link that we can use like so so if we copy that quickly and go to our vagrant file you can see in my vagrant file um, line number two I just give the image a name line number three this one highlighted here I give the download link so we just need to change that now we paste in a new one there it is and then we tell vagrant that the url to go and collect the file is the variable that we've just created so let's save that quickly go back into our terminal here we do a dropbox list you'll see i don't have the actual vagrant machine here and go vagrant up and you'll see this will go off and start downloading the file it should pop up in a second saying downloading got x number of minutes or seconds or however long there we go so that's just a quick video on how to download your images with vagrant from dropbox again what this allows you to do is give the vagrant file to a colleague a friend or just post out onto the internet somewhere so that anybody else can use it and what will end up happening is that when they do vagrant up it'll download it directly from dropbox if you're already paying for Dropbox, it means you don't have to then pay for another file storage solution on the internet somewhere or put into S3 or something nasty like that. It's already there. You're already paying for it. The storage is there to be used. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Give me a thumbs up or a subscribe um, and let me know what you think in the comments.